So one of the questions I get asked when I present on Tabular Editor is the difference between Tabular Editor 2 and Tabular Editor 3. And one of the differences is that it's not as easy to show the data in Tabular Editor 2. Um, and I would encourage anyone to use Tabular Editor 3 because it's incredibly helpful and um, improves your performance. But if you can't, it is useful to know. So let me show you how to pull the data out so you can see it in Tabular Editor 2 along with a, another function you might find helpful. So this is my basic Garmin data. You can see three fact tables, one date. And I have pulled it into Tabular Editor 2 using this button where I've attached to um, my Garmin data. So within my Garmin data, I've got my Let's just pull them up. I've got my three fact tables and I've got my measures. And what's quite useful I find is to be able to use the filter button in Tabular Editor 3 to filter in on a specific thing, whether it's a table, an object, or such as a measure or a column. And how you can do that in Tabular Editor 2 is in this little button here, this filter button, you can type um, the colon object type equals column and then when you press um, when you press the enter key you, you'll show all of the columns so if we wanted to see the measures and type in measure then we can see all of our measures and we can even use regex to make it more specific so here we can pull object type equals column and regex equals match so you can see that's there so you've got the uh, you've got the co comma the colon sorry the object type equals column and regex equals match so that's quite handy and as I promised you you might want to actually see so you can see there we've got the different dates uh, once we press enter it changes from the measures to show me um, a date with a column and then to get rid of it you press delete and you've got your measures back. But I find it really helpful to see the tables in my data and to actually understand what, what they're showing me rather than, than just the metadata. So within C sharp scripting, you can write DAX. So this is a little bit of DAX that I've written with a little bit of help. Um, so it's basically showing us this is our var table name. So we've got var table name and that's saying for the selected table. So whichever table we select. And then the result is evaluate the DAX. Now the interesting thing is here, it will evaluate any of the DAX that you put in. But in this case, I'm just saying top N. So I want the first 20 rows in my selected um, variable table name. So you can see the way that it's written there and you just have to copy that and paste it in. And to um, put the DAX in, you put the speech marks there and the speech marks there. And this dash and this dash is, is basically if this has got a space or something in it. So it, it excuses the wild cards. Then you have your semicolon to um, close it after you've closed it. And then the result, you're asking it to put the output out. So if I press escape, and I click on this and then I click play um, what it does is it shows me the first 20 rows of my table now perhaps I want the first 50 rows so I can put in 50 and run it again and then it will show me the first 50 rows and then what you can do is you can click save as macro and it will save as a macro for you. So you could call it show data and all of your macros are then saved to this folder. So that's a handy hint for you and I hope it helps.